interested in surveying glossy black cockatoos or you have actually registered for the Great Inland Glossy Count. Experience has shown that surveying glossies at a water source in their habitat can be very successful at getting an idea of the numbers that are present in the forest. Glossies need to drink every day. So surveying at a water source is going to be a really good way to watch those birds coming in from often quite long distances um, at the end of the day so that we can count the number in the habitat. It's important to make sure that glossies can come in to drink. That is the number one aim of the survey is not to interfere with the glossies coming in to drink. We're here to observe them and hopefully count the numbers, but we're to do it in a way that's not going to impact on them coming in. So here are a few tips to help survey for glossies in their habitat. For example, Gnu National Park, which is where I am today. The idea is to arrive in the late afternoon between about four or five o'clock, depending of course at the time of sunset. It's best to be here for a few hours, at least prior to sunset, so that you can capture most of the birds that are intending to come into that water source. Once again, the main aim is to purely observe and watch them come in to drink at the water source. And that means setting up your chair, getting comfortable well ahead of time and not in a location where you're gonna disturb the glossies or startle them. It is best if you can see most of the water source and of course it's best to survey with someone else so that someone can be watching the glossies and someone can, can be recording at the time. The main aim is to get the total number of glossies coming into the water source. So it's the total number of glossies flying in and you record them as you go. Once they've arrived, then you can have a look at those glossies using your binoculars or scope to see whether you can identify the difference in male, female and juvenile. And as you get more experienced or attend some extra training, you can indeed start identifying first year and second year juveniles. The main thing is to observe them as they fly in and then you can continue to observe them while they're still here. Um, and you can record extra detail if you wish, of course, as well. Once they start arriving, you can have a really good look at that form and make sure that you're filling it out um, accurately. And it gives you some really good tips on how to do that. It is best if you can stay till dark. Glossies will often stay near the dam and come down to drink very, very late and some glossies will indeed fly in extremely close to dusk. So it's best to stay until it is dark for you to safely get back to your car. And that means that you've captured hopefully all the glossies that are gonna come in and use that water source. You've been given some great resources um, to help identify glossies and tips on observing at a water source. And of course the data sheet is provided as well. Enjoy it. It's a beautiful time to be out in the forest where the glossies are and you can observe all the other bird life and wildlife when they come in as well.